uh, particularly with the recent uh, collapse of the US presence in Afghanistan. I think the collaborators of the US, particularly in their destabilization wars and proxy wars around the region, all looked at Kabul airport and feared it was the, them falling from those planes, basically. The, there was apparently a wave of emigration from the Kurdish separatists in the north of Syria. They were despairing that what's going to happen when the US pulls out of there. So the Israelis fear that. They're concerned about that. And I think that's why Bennett went recently to Washington to get some sort of assurances. Uh, the Israelis are always looking for some sorts of assurances that if something blows up, if Iran decides finally, for example, to respond to one of the many provocations, or if Syria decides to respond to one of the many uh, provocations and attacks that are carried out, um, they want to be some sort of guarantee that the U.S. is going to back them up. We are witnessing a lot of change in the empire's behavior in the post-Afghanistan withdrawal era. Are the days of the empire numbered in West Asia as its enemies would like to say, or is it just too early to be talking in this uh, manner or in this tone? I think there is a movement in that direction. Um, there has been a discussion in Washington for some years about a strategic withdrawal from the region. You recall when Trump was campaigning five years ago, he was talking about withdrawing from Syria and Iraq. He made some moves but was countermanded by other forces in the so-called deep state. Same with Afghanistan. Now, uh, for some time, the Saudis have been trying to get some sort of ceasefire in Yemen. So they know that they're losing. They've been losing for some years. And that affects the way they see uh, the whole big picture.